Hey guys, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card using our new Holiday Trio stamp set. This is a 4x6 photopolymer set and it features this trio of presents and also a poinsettia cluster. I'm starting off by placing a piece of watercolor paper inside my mini Misty and then I have these two cuts that I created using the coordinating cut file for our Holiday Trio set. So I've place the two pieces onto my watercolor paper just so that I know where the trio is going to be when I stamp and emboss the poinsettia cluster because I'm going to be doing some masking. I'm going to gold heat emboss the poinsettia cluster onto my watercolor panel first. Once that's embossed, I took a piece of scrap paper that is similar in size to that poinsettia cluster. Then I stamped poinsettia stamp onto that piece of scrap paper and then I fussy cut this image out because I'll use this as a temporary mask. I just put some adhesive behind the mask, temporarily adhered it onto my watercolor paper panel. Then I placed the panel back into my Misty and positioned the present cluster over the masked area. I inked it up with some Versamark ink, stamped my panel, removed the mask, poured on my gold embossing powder, and heat set the gift cluster. So now I have this beautiful one layered image that is ready for coloring. For today's watercoloring, I'll be using Tombow dual brush pens. And the first one I'll be using is number 835, which is a beautiful bright red and it's just so festive and perfect for holiday coloring and that's why I chose this to color in all three of the gift images in this cluster. So I'm just going to basically add a nice base layer of this bright festive red onto my gift clusters. So these pens have water-based ink in them, which makes them absolutely wonderful for water coloring. And they have two tips on them. They have a felt tip side and then a bullet tip side, and I'm using the felt tip side. Um, and I really like them because they have a nice pointy edge, so they make it really easy to get into these nooks and crannies. So the way I'm applying color is I'm applying color using the felt tip side, and then I'm taking a fine tip water brush to blend that color out to give my gift clusters a nice base color. Next, I'm gonna use number 757 to just add a little bit of shading. And this color is a really nice deep berry red. I'll be teaching a class using these markers during our March 2020 retreat next year. So if you'd like to learn some more tips and tricks and techniques on how to use these beautiful markers for floral watercoloring, be sure to check out our March 2020 retreat. I'll leave a link in the description box below, but it's going to be a really great time. I'll be teaching two four-hour watercoloring classes in Times Square, New York City during this two-day retreat next year. So it's just going to be a fun event. There's going to be a great swag bag. There's going to be a raffle with prizes. And it's just going to be a really awesome time. So be sure to check out the details of this retreat because registration is still open. So once I finish coloring in my gift clusters, I'm going to add some gray shading to my gift ribbons. Then I'll start coloring in the poinsettias using that number 835 as the base color for my poinsettias. And since these florals really aren't that large, I'll just stick to the 835. I'm not gonna add additional shading with a second marker. And I'm just gonna do the coloring the same way I colored in the gift clusters. I put down a little bit of the Tombow marker ink and then I blended the color out using a water brush. Once I finish coloring in the petals, I'll color in the leaves using a number 272 green dual brush pen. Once you get the gift cluster and the poinsettia petals colored, the rest of the coloring goes very quickly because for the leaves and the berries, you don't have to do any special coloring. You just kind of put down the color, blend it out in regards to the leaves, and then for the berries, just color them in. And now I'm just gonna add some shading to my masked image because I don't want the cluster images to look like they're floating and that's what you would have if we didn't add those layers of gray. Next, I'm just gonna add some ink on three liquid pixie dust details to the ribbons. I'm just gonna shake it up really well in the bottle, 
squeeze a little bit onto my craft mat and then take my fine tip water brush and add a little bit of shine to the ribbon. And the results are just absolutely gorgeous and so festive. I love how it turned out. Next, I'm just gonna let this dry completely before I trim down my panel into an A2 size panel. Once I get this cut down, I'm just going to get ready to apply my sentiment. I'm gonna use the Wishing You a Merry Christmas sentiment from the same Holiday Trio stamp set. I stamped the Wishing You a on a piece of white cardstock strip. Then I stamped the Merry Christmas sentiment directly onto my panel. Then I popped up that additional sentiment. And lastly, I'll just add some of our gold medallion sequins. I'm applying them using some ThermoWeb Ultra Bond Liquid Adhesive. It's great for sequins. And I'm just applying my sequins in visual triangles in two clusters onto my panel. And my card is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it weekly. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.